Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today I have been waiting for this particular package for a better part of four days. Uh, according to FedEx, which seems to be having a bad habit of actually, you know, bringing the packages to your um, your destination. But there always seems to be two or three days late. They're not the most reliable anymore. They did have a reputation back in the day, but not so much anymore. But anyway, long story short, this box is a little wet. You might not be able to see it. But it is most likely my American Werewolf in London. It is the Kessler's Wolf. And from the looks of the box itself, it's actually a um, pretty decent size. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get into this box and see what it looks like. And I'm going to show you the box art. And then we're going to get into the figure. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Now, as I mentioned in the, the last part of this video, that this was, in fact, the American Werewolf in London. And I've been waiting roughly around four days for it upon being delivered. It was supposed to be delivered on Saturday. It ended up showing up uh, literally last night. So, that's why we're doing a video today. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to show you the box art. As you can see, it looks pretty badass looking. I think I might say this box because this is, in fact, my all-time favorite werewolf movie. There's a lot of really good ones out there, but nothing competes with this one in my opinion, okay? This one is, in fact, the best-looking werewolf that I have seen, okay? Now, I've seen some newer ones that look pretty impressive, but they don't even come close to the way this thing looks. This one is an actual four-legged uh, werewolf, which is very cool. Rick Baker did a fantastic job on actually designing this thing. It's ridiculous how it looks. There is YouTube videos out there that actually show you uh, the actual motions of it and the actual prop that they use for this does not have any hind legs on it But it is very cool to see it moving and stuff like that It is a very unique looking werewolf and very mean looking it is the best representation of a werewolf in my opinion, okay? Uh, when it comes to the way it looks and stuff. He is absolutely super mean looking badass looking, okay? But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sh uh, shut down the carousel here the turntable and I'm going to give you a, a look of what it looks like inside. And then we're going to take it out of its box. So let me shut that down real quick. All right. Uh, most of these NECA figure boxes, they come with a window. So you get to see what it looks like inside. And I'm personally going to keep the box. Because like I said, this is my all-time favorite werewolf movie. Hands down. Okay. Now I like a lot of the werewolf movies. I got a bunch of them. Okay, but this one's always the one that stands out. The American Werewolf in Paris, not so much. It's CGI and they're mediocre at best. But anyway, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, if the glare from the uh, lighting here is throwing it off, I apologize about that, but that's very cool looking. Okay, that'd be a cool looking backdrop, in my opinion. But if you can see without all that glare, uh, that's what she looks like. You can see the head up in the corner there. And right up in here, you can't really see it because it's kind of dark. Maybe you can, I don't know. But anyway, that's what she looks like. I'm going to take everything out of its box, and we're going to talk about it here in one second. So, let me show you what the side of the box looks like. Now, oh, that's cool looking. He's mean looking. I don't care what they say. Okay. Different variations of it. Different scenes. It's a very unique looking design. Now, the thing about this uh, is in the movie itself, it does have some gray strips that come across the actual face. You don't see it on here. I guess I just didn't bother to put that on there. All right. Now this box is fairly big. And I'm going to tell you the dimensions of this uh, werewolf once I pull it out of its boxes here. But that's the American Werewolf in London. This movie came out in 1981. Okay. It is the ultimate Kessler Wolf is what they call it. Okay. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll shut down the camera here. And take everything out of its box because it's going to take me a while just to get everything unraveled. And I will be right back. Okay, we're back. I finally got it out of its box. It wasn't that bad. I mean, the legs and everything were strapped up with the white cords and the main body were strapped up with the uh, black cords, so they were easy to cut and get out of there for the most part. I just want to say I'll let you guys see what it looks like up close and personal. Now, I got it on the turntable so you can see it all the way around. Eventually, what I'm going to do is shut down the turntable and give you some close-up shots of this. And then we're going to switch out the head because obviously I like the open mouth version of it. It looks absolutely spectacular with all those teeth showing and stuff. So, 
with that in mind, let's give you some dimensions based on this uh, Kessler's Wolf, as they call it. Uh, the actual Necker figure in itself is roughly around six inches high. Okay, I mean, you can actually push it all the way up. So it's kind of like really high looking. It's got very long uh, legs. And the actual figure in itself is roughly around 11 inches long. Now I'm assuming it's from head to tail. That it's not 11 inches. It could be from leg to leg, front leg to back leg. It could be 11 inches. I'm not sure how they do it. But they're saying it's roughly around 11 inches long. Okay. The actual weight of this thing is roughly around 27 inches. Uh, ounces it's a little over two pounds okay but it is a decent amount of weight to it I mean that's not bad that's pretty decent yeah and the thing is you don't need no NECA stand in order to stand this thing because it's got four legs it's very poseable it does have 30 points of articulation in it uh, which we'll play around with it once we start giving you some close-up shots of it okay so what I want to do here is kind of shut that down show you what the face looks like here I'm gonna pull the camera back so I can actually get in front of it. Okay, and that is what that thing looks like. All right, there we go. That is wicked looking. I always like this one here because it shows all his fangs, and he is very teethy. Okay, very cool looking. Now some people have actually gone out of the way to actually paint them, to put the little gray strips on the side of the face as well as whiten up the teeth a little bit because some people just don't like it super bloody looking but when you actually see the movie it is ridiculously bloody looking because he obviously he had uh, just eaten a, a head and going through Piccadilly Circus and stuff like that he's probably eating a few people along the way but anyway his mouth is full of blood and that's what this is all about right here right, so let me get that a little bit closer so you can actually see all right. very wicked looking Okay. Very cool. Always did like this. Now, if you look at the back of this thing, the face literally snaps on from the front instead of your normal popping it down. So we're going to end up popping it out and putting this one on pretty soon here. Okay. But let's, let's give you a close-up shot of the actual wolf itself. Let's start with the legs, okay? Now they do bend right here at the elbows, more or less, see? And also right here in the feet part, there is no articulation in them. It's probably because of the way it's made. Now there is articulation right here, okay? You can bend it that way. But in the feet part of it, not so much because it's supposed to actually sit flat, okay? It does move at the shoulders, okay? See what the back looks like. It's very cool looking. And he does have a small tail. Most werewolves have these big tails. But he's got this long slender body. He is definitely four-legged. I'm not sure if he can actually stand up on all fours. He wasn't seen any time in the movie standing up on all fours, but but that's what I liked about this werewolf is because he didn't literally stand up. He's not like a wolf man. He's an actual werewolf. Uh, you know, superhuman dog. You know. Uh, the actual back uh, legs here, they have a hinge system on it. As you can see, it does move back and forth. It's very pliable. It's very poseable. You can spread the legs any way you want. Okay, the torso, very little bit of movement. Okay. And obviously the head... Which I'll show you what it looks like up front here. That's fucking cool looking. Alright. Articulation on the head. Obviously it turns. You can see. Like I said, it's fully posable. You can put these in crazy positions. But this thing is freaking cool looking. Very nicely detailed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the head off here. There we go. That was easy enough and put this one on. Now I notice when you pop it off it does have the actual um, kind of like a collar that comes with it okay and you just pop it off just don't lose it whatever you do okay 
Okay, and just squeeze that back on there. All right, now. There we go. All right. Okay, that's what she looks like here. Okay, well, let me just show you what it looks like up close. For me personally, this looks really cool with his mouth wide open. Okay. Okay, now, age wise. Oh, that didn't even stick on there. Hang on there for a second. Straighten that up. Oh, there we go. We're back. All right. Let me just see, show you what it looks like. Like I said, this has got a removable collar. I don't know if that's what you want to call it. But that's very cool. All right. Show you the skin texture of it. The back legs. The articulation on them. Like I said, it moves in the hind. Okay. Now, let me see something here for a second here. All right. Now, in the kneecap joint, I don't see where it actually moves. Just a little bit of movement back and forth, but you can't move it up and down, otherwise you'll snap and break the leg. The hind quarters, as you can see, it does have a hinge. Hang on for a second here. Yeah, that's not recommended. It does move. It's got a clicking sound to it. Okay? So you can do that. Both legs work in the same way. Now, this one here, you see, it's got this little hook right here. Little, um... Like a toenail. Very cool. It's a claw. I think the other side's the same way. Yep, the other side's the same way. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right. But anyway, it's right there. All right. Anyway, this is a very cool looking uh, werewolf. In my opinion, like I said, it is the best looking werewolf, in my opinion. Okay? There's some cool looking ones out there, but nothing really stands out like this one here. And when you do see this one, you automatically recognize it. It's one of the most famous ones of the bunch. So that's the way I want to get him to look. You push his head all the way back, and he's like, Rrr! That's also another thing about um, the sound effects on this werewolf. It echoes. It's very cool. It's almost trumpet-like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, let's turn that back on. And this one here is the other one. I'll show you that one that looks like up close. You'll notice that the snout on this thing is a little longer. Or maybe it's just the way it's positioned. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, he's full of teeth, that's for sure. He's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, that's what that looks like in the back. But anyway, that is my Kessler's Wolf. Okay, I prefer to call it the werewolf because it is an actual werewolf, right? But they call it Kessler's Wolf. Now, this is from NECA, okay? Uh, the actual approximate age for this is 17 years and older. So if you're any uh, younger than 17, you are not to play with this toy, okay? <laughs> I don't know why they put age requirements. Maybe it's for safety reasons, so you don't poke your eyes out and stuff like that. But anyway, it is a very cool looking figure, okay? Like I said, it's about 11 inches long and about 6 inches high. Okay, it does have 30 points of articulation. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I've been waiting a long, long time for this. I did pre-order this all the way back when it first came out. And I had to change my credit card information because it was an older credit card that I had. So I had to go in there and change the information on that. And now I finally got it in. And it was literally 4 days late according to FedEx. Now FedEx in itself... They used to have a reputation for having things on time. They were a stickler about that. Not so much anymore. I don't think they're like that at all. Because, uh, like I said, on their uh, website, it said it was supposed to be here Saturday or uh, Friday. And it never showed up until Monday. But that's probably because it's got to come off the plane from wherever it's coming from. And then once it uh, goes into Charlotte, I'll know I'll get it that day. But it is what it is. Anyway, I got it. And... There she is. That's the Kessler's Wolf right there, my friend. Okay. It is from the 1981 movie, American Werewolf in London. Okay. Uh, the, the movie in itself starts with these two uh, guys, David Kessler and Jack. They go on kind of like a tour through England. 
and they're running through the moors and all of a sudden they, they get attacked by a wild dog or something. They don't know what it is. Anyway, Jack didn't make it. And Jack does show up dead in uh, David's uh, nightmares and stuff. And he, each and every time he shows up, he gets nasty looking, okay? <laughs> it's pretty disgusting looking. But anyway, uh, David is, in fact, uh, he survived it, so he, he ends up turning into the werewolf. And uh, like I said, it's a very cool uh, movie and stuff. It's got some very cool music, too. That soundtrack is awesome. All right? There's a bad moon on the rise, my friends, okay? Um... But the movie in itself was well crafted. I loved the acting and stuff at first. I wasn't keen on the whole English thing, but it does grow on you. It's a really solid movie, okay? The acting and everything. David Kessler is famous for not only being an actor in TV shows as well as this movie, but he also had a hit song called Making It. If you want to check that out, it is on YouTube. It's a, it's a 1970s disco type song. Uh, it's very cool. Okay, I like that song. I actually got the song, okay? But anyway, he did sing that song, okay? Uh, now, the actual um, second movie that came out in the 90s, I think it was, it was uh, American Werewolf in Paris. Not so much, okay? That's nowhere near the caliber of this one here. And plus, I think they used totally CGI in that movie. And the CGI in the uh, 90s was mediocre at best, okay? And I, I don't mean to criticize it, but it's obvious when you, you watch it. Not as compared to Rick Baker's um, design here with the actual... Uh, practical effects they really do stand out okay it's amazing check out one of the youtube videos look up the kessler's wolf or rick baker's kessler's wolf and it'll show you some behind the scenes on how they actually created the thing it's actually pretty amazing okay but anyway i'm going to end this here i hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because i will be pushing out some more videos because i got three more uh, figures coming in i've got um Halloween's uh, Halloween Kills Michael Myers figure it's supposed to be coming in from NECA. I also got the Mummy coming in from NECA as well as Elvira. We're going to be doing those once they come in. I just got to get confirmation from Big Bad Toy Store to, um, you know, once they get it in, they'll let me know and we'll do a video on that. One thing you need to know if you're into werewolves and you want to collect this, you need to jump on it now because if you don't, I promise you, this will double and almost triple in price, okay? It's already doing that on eBay. Uh, a friend of mine, his name is John, he's already checked it out. He says it's already literally doubled in price because these things are extremely popular. All right, so you might want to jump on it now. Go to Big Bad Toy Store or your favorite toy store line and order the damn thing before it really gets ridiculously expensive because you won't be able to get them after a while, okay? But anyway, you guys have yourselves a good day, and I hope you enjoyed this video.